It's Hop Along Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hop Along Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hopalong Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And appearing as that laughable old character, California, is Andy Clyde. Now to our story, The Phantom Bandido. Hoppy's spurs at the moment are jingling down the boardwalk of Council City, the railhead where hundreds of cowmen come from every direction once a year to sell and ship their cattle. And Council City does everything in its power to accommodate them. The honky-tonks, the hotels, the gambling joints are buzz with activity. The marshal and his deputies on double duty. And the cowmen, too many of them, looking for a handy place to squander a year's wages. Concern it, Hoppy. I'm reaching the end of my tie rope. Now, take it easy, California. Ain't we partners? Right. Ain't I sighted you clean from Pawnee Junction to Pecos since you was the greenest hand in the bar, Swanee? Sure. And every time some outlaw run us up a tree, who was right there hanging to the next branch? California Carlton. He right. Then why in termination are you keeping secrets from me? Secrets? Oh, now, don't give me them innocent blue eyes, and, uh, and don't tell me we're here in Council City just to sell them cattle. Now, you know as well as I do that Baker's crossing the Dern site nearer the bar 20. You've been selling cows there for ten years. Now, ah, just... here we are. Uh, uh? The Arcade Saloon. Uh, now, what's that got to do with it's it? It's run by Mr. Sanders in California, the man who wants to buy our cattle. Come on, let's go inside. <laughs> ah, I'd better check with the bartender. What'll it be, gents? We're looking for Mr. Sanderson. Well, uh... He ain't here right now. He's out looking over some steers. I'll be back any minute. You want to wait? No, I guess we'll take a look at the town and come back when... Well, uh, what's the matter, Hoppy? Say, uh, who's that fellow? Huh? At the bar down there. Oh, him? <laughs> well, that's young Byers. Owns a ranch south of here. Oh, I uh, changed my mind. I guess we will wait. Bring us a couple of sarsaparillas, will you? Huh? Without the snake juice. <laughs> you boys sure you want them straight? Might fix you up a little chaser. Uh... Hoppy, look at that fire fellow. Well, what's wrong? Don't stare at him. Looks like he's lost his last friend. Worse than that if I saw what I think I saw. Yeah. Hey, hey, look what he's... Stay right here. I wouldn't do a lot if I were you. Huh? Let me alone, will you? I do my own business. I'm just asking you to think it over a minute. I've thought it over all I want to. Now, beat it, will you? Get out of here. Not till you give me that. Nobody's going to stop me now, do you hear? I'm afraid that's just what I'm going to do. Like that. Now, look, mister, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Oh. Okay, Sonny. I hate to do this, but... Shut oh. it down, boys. Shut it down. What's going on here? Oh, it's after real, huh? The big man from out the west. I'm sorry. I didn't want to raise the rockets, but I... But what? California. Yeah, I'll be... this boy over in our room at the hotel. Put him on the bed. I'll be over in a minute. Sure. Looks like he could use a bed right now. Come on, Sonny. Uh, I'm still asking my questions, Asperella. What's this all about? Take a look at that glass at your feet. Sure. He bought a drink. It's one of our glasses. Only look at what he poured in it. Huh? Let's see that. Gosh, old Himmler. Poison. The kid was trying to kill himself. Now back to Hopalong Cassidy. Hoppy and California are in Council City to sell 500 head of prime bar 20 steers to a Mr. Sanderson. Or at least that's the story Hoppy's given out. But now as he hurries back to the hotel, his mind is mostly on the young cowboy who almost succeeded in poisoning himself in the arcade bar. The boy is just coming to as Hoppy arrives at the room. How's he getting along? Oh, he's coming around all right. Huh. You sure didn't pull that punch on him. <laughs> I didn't want to stand there and argue it out in front of all the customers. Well, what happened? 
Uh, you walked into Mr. Cassidy's good right hand, Sonny. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. I had to do it. Now, why don't you tell me what the trouble is? I... I don't talk about it. Oh, you never can tell. Might be able to help you. Seems like we do more of that sometimes than selling cows. You... You can't help me now. I don't suppose it'll do any harm to tell you. I... I'm broke, see? Well, there's nothing wrong with being broke. If you need a job, why... I got a job. Got a ranch, too. Or I had one. What do you mean? A thousand acres. Prettiest range land you ever saw. I come here to Council City six weeks ago with my first cattle. Three hundred head of Herefords. Everything depended on the money I got for them. Hmm. Then what? I sold them for $20 a head. That's $6,000. Cash. I was pretty happy and pretty foolish, I guess. I started home that afternoon. My ranch, the Circle B, is 20 miles south of here. Four or five miles out of town, out near Stone Canyon. I suddenly found out how foolish I was. How come? El Sombrero Negro. The Black Hat. Huh? Go on, Byers. What about the Black Hat? Well, he was waiting for me at a narrow place in the trail... Before I knew it, there was a gun in my back, and the 6,000 was gone. Did you get a good look at the bandit? Not very. He's dressed in black. Black chaps, shirt, sombrero, black mask on his face, rides a big black stallion. Must be the fastest horse in this part of the country. I was crazy mad after it happened. Even though he took my gun, I went after him. But it was hopeless. He got my money, and the rancher went with it. What can I tell my wife, Mr. Cassidy? Sorry, Janie, I got robbed. I lost the ranch. Sorry, but it's gone. Take it easy, Byers. For six weeks now, I've been after him. I swore I'd get him. I've covered Stone Canyon down to the last clump of greasewood. It was like chasing a phantom. That's why tonight I... I guess I gave up. Hmm. Well, that's a tough one, Byers. The answer you hit on over at the arcade isn't the right one. I guess I know that now. You say you lost your wrench? I got two weeks left. There's a loan on it that has to be paid off. Who holds it? Mr. Sanderson. I see. Did you ask for an extension? <laughs> why should he extend it? He wants that land. Finest piece of cattle range in the county. Yeah, Who'd you sell the cattle to? Sanderson. Oh, that's interesting. Why didn't he write off the loan right there? Why'd he give you the cash? I thought it was funny at the time. He said I'd better take the cash. That he had to send away for the papers. And he'd come down to the ranch on the due date and close it up official. You know, Hoppy, I'm beginning to see why we come to Council City to sell them. Never mind, California. You, um, uh, keep by your company for a while, will you? It's about time I looked up an old friend. <laughs> Oh, you think it's going to be tough, Marshal? <laughs> Tell me, Hoppy, have I ever sent for you on an easy case? <laughs> Excuse me for living. No, it's a tough one, all right, Hoppy, in more ways than one. El Sombrero Negro, they call him. The Black Hat. He's more like a ghost. He can smell money like a bloodhound. Knows just who's carrying it and who isn't. Hits hard and fast. Four times in the last three weeks. Have you seen him? Twice. Thought we had him once. Ran him up Stone Canyon right to the end. One minute he was there, and the next he was gone. Disappeared almost before our eyes. Yeah, that's one of the things that makes it tough. And what's the other one? Sanderson. That's what I thought. He runs this town, Hoppy. You, uh, suspecting? Well, there's been five robberies altogether. All of them cattlemen who just sold their stock to Sanderson and were leaving town with the money. It won't take much of a detective to add that up. But it's still only suspicion. We've got to catch the black hat in the act, Hoppy. The only way... Hmm. And that's why you wrote me to bring my next batch of cows to Council City. Right. Who's that? It must be Miss Vance, Sanderson's secretary. She said she wanted to see me tonight. Wait a minute. I don't want anyone to know we're working together. I'll be in the next room. Marshal. Come in. I can only stay a minute. I can't let him know I'm here. You heard about Fred Byers. Hmm? Tried to kill himself in the arcade an hour ago. I see. How much longer are you going to allow this to go on? Until I get proof, Miss Vance. Well, I don't need any more proof. What do you mean? While Sanderson was out this afternoon, I went to his desk. I found this. Well, a black mask. Is that proof enough for you? I don't know. Well, I do. The townspeople are ready to lynch someone, Marshal. They're tired of waiting, and so am I. If you insist on sitting up here in your office now, while just I... a minute, Miss Vance. Until the United States government tells me different, I'm in charge of the law here. And I'll conduct my office as I see fit. When I get a case against Sanderson, I'll move, and not until. All right, Marshal. But I hope for your sake you move soon enough. Good night. Good night. 
Well, what do you think, Hoppy? Uh, hard to say. There it is. Prettiest piece of evidence a man could want. Hmm. Wonder if Sanderson's in his office now. Why, sure. The arcade runs till midnight. Why? Thought I might run over and talk business with him. After all, he's the boy who's going to buy my cows, isn't he? <laughs> Nice for you to drop in tonight, Cassidy. Here, have a cigar. No, thanks, Mr. Sanderson. I hope you don't mind if I do. Uh, always think better with a cigar in the mouth. There we are. Now, we'll close at 20, yeah? 20 satisfactory to you? That's a fair price. Good. Hate to haggle. I could see you hate it, too, Cassidy. The minute you came in tonight, I said to myself, now there's a man who's got a price in his mind. If I meet it, fine. If I don't, no deal. <laughs> kind of an amateur student of character, Cassidy. Usually come up pretty close to you. <laughs> and you're a mighty good businessman, aren't you, Mr. Sanderson? Oh, I do my best. Make a pretty good go as a cattle broker or run a couple of saloons. Yeah, I like to keep busy. And I see you play around with mining, too. <laughs> you mean the map on the wall? Yeah, and those gold nugget cufflinks you're wearing. Well, I'll tell you a secret, Cassidy. As a mining man, I'm a flop. With a lot of money in it, too. That map on the wall up there is to remind me I can lose money faster than I can make it sometimes. Is that so? Mm-hmm. It's called the Gold Arrow. A few miles out of town, just over the ridge from Stone Canyon. Spent a fortune, put in six miles of tunnels. <laughs> but all I got was this pair of cufflinks. Pretty expensive cufflinks, huh? Well, back to business. Here's the bill of sale. And 500 head at 20 is 10,000 each. There you are. In cash? Well, why not? Seems like a lot of money for a fellow to pack around in greenbacks. How about a check? Sorry, I don't do business that way, Cassidy. I don't even carry a check in the account. Any particular reason? Yeah. I don't trust banks. My father lost everything he had in 73, and I don't intend to do the same. I see. So if you want to do business with me, it's cash on the barrel head. I get to leave it. Is that what you told Fred Byers? Yeah. Anything wrong with that? I think so. You could have written off that mortgage on his ranch with a bill of sale on his cabin. Now, wait a minute, Captain. I'm not through. If you'd handle the deal sensibly instead of sending him out of here with $6,000 in his jeans, he'd have owned his ranch clear. Now he's wiped out. Walks into the bar downstairs and tries to kill himself with poison. All because you don't trust banks. Or is that the real reason, Sanderson? Well, you've been listening to it, too, have you? What? The talk around town about me. I guess it's the same everywhere, Cassidy. Man pulls into town with nothing except the clothes on his back, a pair of hands, and a lot of ambition. He works hard, he builds up a business, he gets rich. While he's poor, he's a good fellow. When he makes his pile, he's suddenly a thieving skunk who'd murder his own grandmother for a dime. I'm not talking about your money, Sanderson. I just said if it weren't for that crazy notion of yours about banks, Fred Byers would have his ranch instead of you. And I don't think it's going to break your heart to pour clothes on him, is it? Seems to me you've come here to sell some cattle. You going to sign the bill of sale? Sure. There you are. Thanks. Take care of that cash, won't you? You can bet I will. Good night, Sanderson. Good night. And, uh, good luck. You don't mean you're going to risk the whole 10000 Hand me that bundle of bills there, California. Here you are, but dang if I know what you're doing. I think a thousand ought to do it, Marshal. We'll leave the rest here in your safe. Concerned it, Hoppy. I wish you'd slow down to a fast gallop so a buddy could catch up. What's you doing putting them marks and them bills? Just putting a little black dot next to the serial numbers. Uh, sure I can't help you? Yeah, look, uh, let me sit down beside you and put Whiskers and Andy Jackson's picture there. I'm going fishing, California. Good Lord almighty. Efficient. And I'm telling you, you ain't going to get a bite, Hoppy. And I ain't going to stand for this another minute. What's going on here? What? There's a big fish swimming around out in Stone Canyon, and I'm going after him with this money here as bait. You, you mean the black hat? That's right. Hoppy figures the bandito will tackle him if he starts back to the bar 20 tonight with that money. I don't. Why not? Because he's too smart to tackle Hop Along Cassidy on a dark trail, even Stephen, that's why. He knows he'd get run off with more holes in him than a Swiss cheese. Hmm. Well, maybe you're right, Marshal. But it's a cinch he wouldn't tackle you. So, hmm. I, I don't like the direction this conversation is going. Now, now, why are you looking at me? No, California wouldn't work either. I reckon not. Why not? 
Well, you can't send a boy out to do a man's job, California. No, wait a minute. I... Bandito's a mighty tough hombre. Can't tell what might happen. I ain't afraid Forget of... Forget it, California. I wouldn't risk your neck for anything. After all, at your age, a man ought to begin to take things easy. At my age? No, no, listen here. If, if you think I can't give that bandito coyote cards and spades and hog time with one hand behind my back, you're... you're you you're, mean uh, you want the job? You, you darn too... No, I want the job. No, give me that money. She's all yours. Why, I was in the saddle when you fellas was in three-cornered pants, and that bandito feller too. Just let me see him face to face. You oh. will, California... You will. Huh? You just got yourself a job. Huh? You know, I get a feeling I was euchred into this. Now back to our story. It's now almost midnight... Three hours since California, carrying a thousand dollars in marked money, set out on the trail leading north from Council City, supposedly on his way back to the Bar 20. Hoppy and the Marshal, high on a rocky peak, are watching the moonlit valley below. Take it easy, Hoppy. I, I can't help it, Marshal. I'm beginning to get jumpy. He's a half hour over oh, oh, you told him to take his time. Yeah, I know, but... Well, we're in luck in one way, at least. Huh? That moon. Bright as daylight down there. I hope you're right about the black hat. If anything happened to California, i Forget I'd... it, Hoppy. There are two kinds of outlaws. The killers and the smart ones. And the black hat, the smart kind. California ain't gonna get hurt. Well, I'd feel better if I was down there instead of... Wait. What's up? Look. Where the trail comes out of that shadow down there. Yep. It's California, all right. He's moving into the shadow again. I ought to come out on the other side of that boulder. There it is, just like I said. What do you mean he isn't a killer? He's shooting high. That's his stopper. And that's the one that says he means business. Come on, let's get going. Where'd he go? Ran him right up the cliff here. Then it seemed he dropped out of sight. That black stallion of his is the fastest thing on four feet. Where's California? Right behind me. He's okay. Good. That doesn't make sense, Marshal. A man and a horse just don't vanish into thin air. He's got to be around somewhere. You sure there's no trail leading up to the rim? Positive. There's no way out of Stone Canyon but the way we come. I've been over every inch of it with Fred Byers. California! Oh, hey! I seen you take out after him. Oh, nice work. I wish I'd done my job as well as you did yours. Where'd the varmint go? That's rather an embarrassing question, California. Seems we are chasing a spook. Ain't no spook I dealings with down there in the trail. What'd his voice sound like? I couldn't tell. Underneath that mask. All he said was, stick him up. And my teeth was chattering so loud I was lucky to hear that. But uh, uh, while he was relieving me of my money, uh, he left something behind. What's that? Here. Take a look. What is it, Hoppy? A cufflink. I picked it Later. up. I picked it up after he took off. He dropped it in the trail by accident. I wonder if it was an accident. What do you mean, Hoppy? I don't know, but Mr. Sanderson might have an idea or two on that subject when I give it back to him tomorrow morning. Oh, uh, hello, hello, Mr. Sanderson. I, I was just looking at the map of your, your mine here. So I see. Uh, looks like you tunnel almost through the ridge here from Green Valley to Stone Canyon. That's right. I suppose you tell me what you're doing in my office. Oh, come now, Mr. Sanderson. I'm, I'm not holding any grudges about yesterday. There's no reason why you should. I asked you what you were doing here. Thought I'd do you a favor. Ever seen that before? Where'd you get it? Answer my question first. Of course I've seen it before. It was stolen from my home a few days ago. Oh, seems to me I saw you wearing a pair of nugget cufflinks yesterday. That was the other pair. I have two. Where were you last night at 11 o'clock, Sanderson? At home. Anyone with you? No. I'd like to know where you got that cufflink. I know you would. See you later, Sanderson. Dice, Hoppy. This rock wall's two feet thick. And the whole end of the canyon here's the same way. I want to see for myself. Let's work up farther up the slope. Any luck, California? Nothing down here. Well, there's got to be somewhere along here. I wish I were as sure of myself as you. 
It's almost dark, Hoppy. Why can't we... We still got a half hour. I haven't mind tunnel of Sanderson's comes almost through to this side, this side of the cliff here. Goes right under the ridge between this end of Stone Canyon and Green Valley on the other side. It can't be coincidence the black hat seems to disappear right at this exact spot. Now, but good Lord, man, a hole big enough for a horse and rider would be... Hold it. Look up there. Mm, where? That crack in the granite about 15 feet up. Look what's coming out. That's... Well, I'll be... Thousands of them. There's your cave, Marshal. Yeah, but how in tarnation could... That thin rock underneath it must shove aside or something. Come on, give me a hand. California. Right, right behind you. This big slab looks like it might... Yeah. Look at those scratches in the dirt. Come on now. All together. <laughs> well, satisfied now, Marshal? I'm eating crow, Cassidy. Let's go in. Light up the candle, California. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'll bring up the rear, if you don't mind. Just, uh, just as soon as we, uh, I don't want to meet that critter face to face in his own hole. Let's pull the stone back the way it was. Yeah, and, and leave us all shut up in here. Well, yeah, sure, all right. Okay, let's go. How far do you think the tunnel goes, Hoppy? It ties in with that blind drift Sanderson told me about. From there, you could go right through the ridge to the Green Valley. Hmm. No wonder he was able to disappear so easy. You reckon he went right through or... Wait, watch out. Take a look. In this part of the tunnel. Well, cigarette butts, a lamp, boxes. Hold the candle, Marshal. Yeah. Let's see what's in this box. Look at them greenbacks. Gee, that's it, Hoppy. There's the Wells Fargo pouch. The envelope Fred Byers kept his money in. It's all there. Yeah. Looks like we found out where our friend hangs his black hat. In the darkness of a cave at the end of Stone Canyon, Hoppy, California, and the Marshal have found the answer to part of the mystery surrounding El Sombrero Negro, the phantom bandit in the black hat. But even though the stolen money is there, the most important question is still unanswered. What do you figure on doing, Hoppy? Waiting here for Sanderson to show up? What makes you think of Sanderson? What makes her... Hoppy, you ain't telling us the bandit's somebody else, are you? I didn't say that. I'm just not sure of Sanderson. Well, good Lord, everything points to him. He ran the mine, knows the tunnels. Every one of the robberies followed one of his money deals. Yeah, and what about that Cuffley? That still doesn't mean it's Sanderson. Well, who else could have... His secretary. Miss Vance? Huh? What are you... She knows all of Sanderson's business. She could have stolen that cuff link and had it planted to throw suspicion onto him. And above everything else, she hates him and makes no secret of it. I can't believe that, Miss Vance. Another thing. I don't think that's her right name. All right, if her name isn't Vance, what is it? Wait. Huh? Wait, put out the candle. I right, copy. What's... Shh. Hold still now. I'm ready. Huh? Kenneth, who's there? Put up your hand. No, you don't. Oh. You got him, Hoppy. Light up the candle. Who is it, Hoppy? Fred Byers. Yeah, I thought that suicide act was a fake. He knew why I was here and was trying to throw me off. Fred, why, I never would have... No, I guess he had us all fooled for a while. Well, let's get back to town. I think we owe Mr. Sanderson an apology. And, of course, we'll have to notify the widow. Widow? Sure, Mrs. Fred Byers, otherwise known as Miss Vance. Well, I'll leave that one to you, Marshal. That seems to be a matter for the law. Hope you'll be with us next time when Hoppy and California will again ride out from the Bar 20 for another dangerous and exciting adventure of the Old West. Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. The Phantom Bandito was written by Harold Swanton. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs>